Good afternoon. I'm Grant Sewell from Canadian Measurement Metrology, and today I'd like to show you a product called the Artec MH3D Scanner. The camera itself is uh, very lightweight, and uh, we only have two connections on the back, a USB connection to plug into the computer, a power connection. On the front, we've got a flash tube that will project a grid onto the part that you're scanning. Then we've got two CCD cameras set off at an angle to detect the reflected light uh, from the flash tube. Before we start scanning, let's just have a look at some of the specifications for the Artec 3D MH scanner. The system itself is able to obtain an accuracy of up to 0.1 millimeter or 100 microns. We have a long life flash tube as the light source. The field of view is up to one half of a meter, 536 millimeters. So we're able to scan quite large parts. We can get a frame rate up to 15 frames per second. And this gives us a data acquisition of up to 500,000 points per second. USB 2.0 is uh, used to communicate with the scanner and uh, power source comes from a standard wall socket. And finally, the software itself will run under Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 uh, e at either 32 or 64 bit. Let's look inside the Artec 3D scanner software to have a look at the workflow. We're going to come over here to the scan dialog and just select the preview button and we'll hit the record button. This will allow us to start collecting data and I'm just going to spin our part, in this case it's a baseball cap, to collect our data. You can either move the part or you can move the camera, whatever you find easier. I've got the ball cap sitting on top of a, a rotary table that I can easily spin here. So we've got enough data there. I'm going to hit stop. And uh, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to just do a quick alignment of the data. We're going to select Find Registration. What this is going to do, this is going to take all the individual scan images and roughly align them together to build our 3D model. And you can see that they're, they're quite uh, well aligned as they are. But when we run the fine alignment, it just tweaks them. We we'll now apply the global alignment, and this finalizes the alignment step between all the scan images. This just takes a few seconds to run. And there we go. Now it looks a little bit messy right now because we've got a little bit of uh, noise around the outside of our scan from me spinning this, the scan table. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, select Fusion, and this will take all the individual scan images and fuse them into a single polygonal mesh. And a polygonal mesh is really just triangles that fit the underlying point cloud data. And you can see how nicely that's looking. You can almost read the writing on the hat there. Now we've got a little bit of noise off in space and we want to get rid of that so what we're going to do next is select singletons and this will isolate the largest polygonal mesh and remove any of the smaller polygonal meshes and uh, there you have it our, there's our finished product the data itself can be exported in a variety of formats to do this we would select file export mesh and we can choose from STL, PLY, a Vermal, OBJ, and Point Cloud ASCII format. Also, we have the ability to share the data with the American Academy of Orthotics and Prosthetics.